Excuse me. To a less weighty topic, when Shakespeare wrote, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players, he certainly wasn't referring to pro athletes. Not to say that the elite of sport and their thespian cousins are mutually exclusive. For example, Chuck Connors, Jim Brown, Marvin Hagler, and many others. Now add another former pro to the swelling ranks of athlete-turned-actor. Jeremy Schaap reports. With Bo Eason, the play was the thing. <laughs> it still is. It is our job to inflict bodily damage on people and then tear at the very fabric in which they are made. Eason wrote in stars in Runt of the Litter, a one-man off-Broadway show about an NFL safety whose team is on the verge of the Super Bowl. It is a clear case of art imitating sport. When people see this play, the character they see, mm -hmm. is he Bo Eason? A lot is, yeah, definitely. This character is a part of me that I never like let out in public. In the 1980s, Eason spent four seasons with the Houston Oilers as an undersized defensive back. He was best known for the ferocity with which he played and is the younger brother of Tony Eason, the quarterback who led the New England Patriots to Super Bowl XX. At its core, Runt of the Litter is about two brothers. We'll always win and we'll always be together because we're brothers. Jack Henry, a gritty safety, leads the Oilers into the conference championship game. Their opponents are the defending Super Bowl champions, whose star quarterback happens to be Jack's big brother, Charlie. My brother and I obviously never played against each other. We were set to play against each other in 1987, and then we were on strike. So, you know, that game never happened. But I always wondered, man, you know, what would it be like to have to do that? Bo says he grew up idolizing and envying his older brother. Everything he worked so hard to achieve came easily for Tony. He didn't see it like that. He thought things were easy for me too, you know, but I didn't see it like that. Ten years after retiring from pro football and being done, then you start to reflect, you know, you start to look back and go, God, I wonder if I was jealous and I wonder if I was, you know, angry about that, you know, so, and I think it comes out in the writing actually. But first, my brother, he finished playing in high school, and he got a big football scholarship to a big football college. And then, I finished playing in high school. No college wanted me. Eason spent the last 12 years honing his acting skills, appearing in small roles on television and in film. For the last several years, he's been touring the country, performing Runt of the Litter, on a nightly basis, bearing his soul and literally his scars. Once that game was gone from me and I couldn't play anymore, you know, here you are with all this inside you, all this, you know, rage and anger and whatever it is, this aggressiveness. And I thought I was going to be like put in jail or something. I didn't know what to do. So when I wrote this piece, I just put on an index card, I put, what if all those hits, you know, could speak? And what if all those surgeries could speak? What would they say? And I was able to like, express myself you know, for the first time in, in, since I played. At the play's climax, Jack Henry must choose between his brother and his team. One more thing. Watch over my brother. Protect him. Give him the sense to stay clear of my path. I am blinded. And the gates of mercy have been all shut up. Did you ever fantasize about sacking your brother? I'd imagine like hitting him and sacking him and just going, am I going to let up on him or would I? I don't know what I'd do, actually. And that's why I wrote about it too, because I always wondered, you know, would you choose the Super Bowl ring or would you choose love? In the end, would you rather have a Tony Award or a Super Bowl ring? A Tony. I see a lot of like guys that I know who have won Super Bowls and those rings are really bad look. <laughs> I mean, they're really tacky. <laughs> Next up, how Ralphie the Buffalo. Oh, oh, oh.